Okay. Well, happy Thursday morning to you all. Today is the 23rd of June, and I'm headed out on the Rebel for a work commute. Uh, probably go over to my warehouse uh, and do some more work today. Haven't had a chance to post yesterday's vlog. I'll try to post this one in chronological order. Uh, but uh, I got a lot of work done at the warehouse. Uh, and I'm supposed to be having my big commercial uh, warehouse shelves delivered uh, today or tomorrow. So I'm trying to clear out all the space I can. That way they can live on the uh, back right side wall and I can get all the crap off of my floor. So uh, anyway, I'm riding the Rebel today with the original handlebars back on it. I put those on uh, during my live stream uh, a couple Saturdays ago almost. Saturday and a half ago. Almost two weeks. Uh, definitely much uh, more forward. I was, I kind of liked the uh, rear uh, reach of the uh, Kijima, Kijima bars, but I did not like the bend, so I'm hunched forward again. And uh, as a trade-off, I think being hunched forward is better than that goofy, me, you know, elbow pinched into your sides kind of a position. It just did not work out for me. So those uh, bars are definitely going away give them away to anybody that wants them so uh, hit me up in the comments below or send me an email at quasimotard at gmail.com and I'll be happy to uh, figure out a way to get you those bars <laughs> I don't like them at all and uh, I don't even know that I feel uh, that I like them enough to pay to ship them to somebody but if you want them and you want to cover you know 15 bucks shipping or whatever it is they're yours you can have them I'll pull this apart one of these days here in the near future and uh, put the bar risers on it even tipping into the corners is so much easier now because the, the bar angle is correct again before I was always even after several thousand miles of riding with them it was it just did not feel right this is a more natural tip in uh, anywho so uh, today I have several things lined up I don't know uh, how much I'm gonna get taken care of but I hope I can get as much of it done as possible uh, got two work appointments uh, possibly a third one if they call me I'm going over there to pick up a check because man money has been tight lately I'm finally starting to feel the pinch in my industry uh, normally the service industry is nearly recession proof but uh, when everybody else slows down on their uh, technology purchases and deployments and everything that goes into the IT world uh, eventually it starts hitting me because there's not enough uh, residual work or ads moves changes on their side of the world to uh, need my assistance so anyway long story short money's been tight and I'm starting to feel it it's another reason why I'm thinning the herd in the uh, garage in the warehouse because I just don't need to maintain that many bikes anymore I never really intended to have that many bikes all at once it just kind of ended up that way uh, and of course liquidating these for cash keeps me from dipping into other uh, savings uh, options and things like that. I'd just rather not do that if I can avoid it. So I'd rather take care of all the monthly stuff out of uh, liquid funds, you know. I touched on that in yesterday's vlog uh, on the editing, you know, YouTube and all the the stuff uh, it's it's a real huge time commitment it's uh, time vampires what I call it because it just sucks you in and uh, eats away your life and your productivity if you're not careful uh, unless of course you're a professional youtuber and that is your primary source of income then you can devote as much time into that as you'd like uh, and you know hopefully the the more you put into it the more gains there are but as a small YouTube channel and content creator like me crap yellow light uh, as a small content creator without a lot of subs uh, it, there's just not much revenue there uh, so it makes it kind of hard to justify uh, large time commitments into creating the content and distributing it and all that because it's uh, taking away from productive time that could be uh, earning real money somewhere else you know I mentioned it again, you know, that I don't really want to turn it into a business because uh, I think that might taint it, you know, it might ruin the uh, hobby uh, and the pastime you know, if it becomes too much of a job job, but I don't know, I'm just striving to find kind of a balance between 
the creative uh, side of it and still having fun with it, yet not kill the cash cow, you know. So I'm kind of pulling away from the editing a little bit. I need to spend more time being productive on uh, real money, job. I need to diversify the uh, revenue stream as well and not just rely upon uh, YouTube because you know, the AdSense getting uh, money, click-throughs on the uh, advertising dollars and stuff out of YouTube is, it's a very long-term game and it's totally variable. You have no idea what you're going to make. Uh, you're at their whim as far as how much of your content they promote and you don't even have any real visibility into what they pay. You're just, you know, taking them at their word for it, their face value of, oh, okay, this is how much you earned. You never see the back-end reports. That's not something that YouTube publishes to you. Uh, you can get some demographics out of it and figure out, you know, kind of your click-through, your ad placement, what kind of ads are being uh, sold uh, onto your videos, but you don't have any real guarantee that uh, they're giving you the honest take on, uh, yeah, you had X number of impressions and this is your, your cut. So, yeah, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of faith there for zero visibility. So anyway, I need to diversify that, uh, revenue stream and get, uh, my own website running. I do have my own website. It's quasimotard.com. There's just not much content over there right now. And I haven't tied it into, uh, you know, uh, advertising or affiliate linking, anything like that that could help uh, generate more traffic or at least more uh, deterministic revenue based on people stopping by the site. It's not a funnel right now, so I don't have any way of knowing where my uh, subscribers are. And try to figure out a way to generate more... Uh, loyalty bonuses and stuff for people uh, sorry gotta play with these cagers put your signal on and they nail the throttle just to try to box you into a spot and I'll let you out Ugh. It's so hard to drive nice in Houston anyway so yeah just trying to figure out a way to to make it worth the while you know and add add value for all the subscribers and the, the loyal uh, people watching the content and uh, maybe funnel a few pennies back to me here and there without being just totally dependent upon uh, YouTube and Google. I need to put my mounts back up here on the bars. Uh, I've been carrying my cell phone in my pockets uh, for a while on the Rebel and I keep panicking and reaching down. Oh crap, am I? Pockets zipped up. <laughs> Don't want to lose that phone on the highway. Yeah, man, the, the factory bar position is so much better than this Kijima, Kijima, however you say it. So much better. If it were back a little bit further with the same bend, it would be great. So risers, either two inch or three inch risers, just pivoted back. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe if I uh, have the time this weekend to do the Saturday Night Live stream, then uh, I'll potentially put the foot peg extensions on this bike. The T-Rex foot peg relocation kit that I got months and months ago. Let's see how that works out. I don't like the look of them. They're very chunky. Chugly. Chunky, ugly, chugly. Don't care for the way they look. But if they give me just a couple more inches of uh, knee bend here, it would be helpful, I think. And I'm not a tall guy. You know, I'm five six and a half, five seven, with my boots on. <laughs> and uh, I find the knee position a little bit cramped uh, on this bike, even with my inseam, you know, 30 inch inseam, whatever. So uh, I would imagine that anybody six foot or above probably feels uh, pretty cramped on this thing. I feel like you get your knees wrapped up around your ears. Zoom, zoom. And I'm doing 75. Constables have been out here patrolling this pretty heavily lately, so I'm uh, trying to be a good boy. The rest of the cages don't seem to think so. That guy's doing 90 in a 60.
And yes, I'm hogging the left lane because it's the HOV. Another one for an 8590. Damn. I guess they want to contribute to the city fund. So back to my tasks today. I uh, got a couple free uh, client appointments that I need to get done, or hope to do. Later this evening, I'll be uh, hauling the extra stuff out of my warehouse. Uh, a buddy of mine has uh, some wheels and tires for his Mustang Shelby uh, stored there. And uh, gonna get rid of a motorcycle today. And I've got a few other things that uh, need to come out of there. So I'll be hauling those out on the trailer. And I need to stop by Bearing Hardware, pick up some more of my good coffee and uh, duplicate some keys and you know, just a bunch of running around. So it's gonna be a busy day today. Probably won't get home until nine o'clock tonight. Took the back route this morning. I'm still on the original tires on my Rebel. Uh, I got uh, 6,500 miles on it. The rear is still doing surprisingly well. Uh, I've not been nice to it. Run it pretty hard. Uh, and I think I've still got about 30% tread left. So that's not bad for these uh, OEM tires. I can't even remember what they are right off the hand. I have to look at them. Uh, but I think I'll be replacing them sometime in the near future. Can I see? Can I see? Uh, be replacing them in the near future probably with the uh metzler what are they the cruise tech or something like that uh on the rebel 11 put some on his bike and uh he did a full review on it and he's extremely pleased with them he said they improved the ride uh the bike feels more sure-footed more stable doesn't squirm around uh he said the cornering has improved so go check out his video on his channel on the rebel 11 and uh i'll try to link that video here and Put his uh, information down on the bottom so check him out i'll likely put those on here this season maybe you know first part of next year i don't know it depends on how much more life i get out of them i do notice that these squirm a bit in corners a little more than i would like uh, but in the rain they have done very very well uh, i've not been displeased with them uh, at all uh, they've got good uh, good wear characteristics and very good wet weather i've been impressed so, anyway, I've arrived. I will uh, catch up with you uh, hopefully this afternoon. All right, welcome back to uh, the next day, everybody. Uh, <laughs> uh, my son and I spent another full day here at the warehouse. We got our shelves uh, set up for the most part. We're missing a couple of shelves high up, but we don't have any way to access those without a scissor lift or something else. So, uh, we've got the lower four shelves uh, laid down and we moved couple thousand pounds of uh, computers and servers and all kinds of stuff off the floor and starting to take shape so we'll be back at it tomorrow I am so tired I don't think I can even vlog tonight on the way home I can barely function uh, the temperature has been just ridiculous today uh, I don't know if you guys could see my gauge it was hundred and three just a minute ago sitting in the Sun and now it's gone down to a hundred you know down to a hundred it's, it's like a arctic blast here give me a break yeah uh, inside the warehouse it was easily 115 uh, all day long uh, i had one of those big giant air movers uh, you know, big ass fan whatever uh, and it was helping to circulate but it's still just hot as hell and up on these shelves eight feet high standing on those uh, stacking computers and all kinds of stuff it's uh, even hotter so uh, we were suffering in 100 and probably 115 degree air uh, all day long we drank a couple gallons of water each <laughs> and uh, we're tired it's uh, it's time to get home take cold showers and uh, get some food so I will uh, bid you all farewell now because I can't think of anything else to say other than I'm tired and uh, a little bit delirious from the heat so I'm going to uh, focus on riding and not running myself into the back of a car. And uh, I hope to catch you all uh, maybe for this weekend. Uh, if I'm lucky, yep, somebody just bought a ticket. Uh, if I can uh, 
set up tomorrow for my uh, Saturday Night Live. I'll try to advertise that early in the day so people can uh, plan to tune in if they're interested. And uh, hope to see you there. Catch you next time.